Hello and welcome to episode 19 of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode, I want to show you how Evernote works on, well, in this case, an iPhone, but the Evernote application works pretty much the same on Android devices as well. So let's get straight into this. Let's open up Evernote. So I'll open up Evernote. And as you can see, I have, um, well, on the top row, we've got settings, which is the uh, gear icon. And then we have the Evernote logo. And then we've got uh, a speech bubble, which is for uh, Evernote chat, sync and search. However, uh, I want to look at the next line, which is text, photos, reminder, list and audio. So these are your quick uh, entry buttons, if you like. So if I click on the text button, uh, I can get straight into a new note and I can start typing away. And as you can see, it says at the top, note from six caras, carang no 42 gil in Songpa Gu. <clears throat> Um, well, Songpa Gu is where I live here in Seoul. Um, I'm not, I don't think actually my address is 6 Karango, no. But the mapping system in Korea is not quite as good as uh, in other countries. So let's move out of that one. Let's cancel that. Uh, I'm going to move into, uh, the next one is Photos. So I can click on the Photos button. And that's going to um, take me to, and it's being very slow. There we go. Uh, it takes me into photos and I can snap documents directly from this. So you can see my little, uh, um, well, I call him George. Um, so that actually allows me to um, take, uh, if you look at the body, it says try snapping documents, whiteboards, business cards. Fantastic op um, option there uh, that you can use. And I use this all the time for scanning. Uh, and then we have a reminder. So I click on that. I can set up a quick reminder in um, in Evernote. I can create a list, which gets me straight to creating a list. And finally, I can create a um, an audio file. And this is great if you want to uh, record lecture notes or even record meetings and so on, etc. Now, the next line going down, shortcuts, notes, notebooks and tags. Now, that is optional. You can set that up however way you wish. And I love having my shortcuts here because these are the notes that I'm using all the time on uh, because whenever I've got a project going or I have something that I'm particularly working on, this is excellent for capturing, uh, for going straight into the note or tag or whatever I want to go to. You remember from what I've covered before you, with shortcuts you can use saved searches anything in there. Uh, of course then I've got my notes and then I've got my notebook so you can go in there all the notes that I've created are in there. I can go into my uh, notebooks and all my notebooks are here which is fantastic and I'm finally I can go into my tags which are all here and you can use the uh, the the sliding button at the side or you can just click on a, um, a letter and go straight to that. So this is the um, the functionality in uh, Evernote on the iOS. Well, this is iOS. As I say, this is pretty much the same in Android, the, the Android app as well. Um, there may be a few little differences, but essentially it all works the same. So I just wanted to give you a brief overview of the uh, the the Evernote app on uh, your mobile device. Now, to be perfectly honest, I use this essentially for capturing more than reading. Um, my iPad, which I will cover in a later episode, is where I would capture my notes from meetings and so on. And also, I would probably use this uh, just to remind myself of something if I've captured a note. Um, to do with, say, maybe I want to buy some shoes or buy some clothing and I've got my sizes. I do keep all my sizes in here. So, <clears throat> but generally speaking, <clears throat> Evernote on my mobile phone is gen is used for uh, quick capturing and for quick reference stuff, which is why I feel that the shortcuts are really, really important to be kept here. In the next episode, episode 20, I will show you how to customize this screen 
uh, so that you can have whatever you want essentially on this front screen but basically you've got the text you can cap quickly capture text you can quickly capture photos my I'm using the beta version of iOS 10 at the moment so that's probably why it was a little bit slow to open uh, quick reminders quick lists and audio if you wish to use that I will cover business chat in another episode but I just wanted to give you the overview of um, the Evernote mobile interface so that you have a pretty good idea of how that works so uh, hopefully you found that useful today i know it's a short episode but i just wanted to give you the overview so for more information on evernote don't forget to uh, subscribe to this channel and you can get the latest updates as and when they come but for now that's it for episode nine join me again in episode 20